not have to trust her to love her. That is a myth. Female haters want to fuck me? Repeat after me. Flush your condoms. And male haters want to beat me. It's that simple. Wait a minute. You actually thought you were the only guy she was fucking? But she told me she loved me. Live from Philadelphia, your man, Donovan Sharp. What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 390th edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. It is Wednesday, January 2nd, 2019. We are multicasting live to seven different channels on three different platforms. We're streaming live to three YouTube channels, three of my Facebook pages, and, of course, Twitter. So we're all over the internet trying to spread the good word trying to spread the red pill. I've, I've actually found that it helps people to find my show. Of course, you guys know I shrink the audience about 15, 20 minutes in. And a lot of people tell me that they like that format and encourages them to come over and, uh, and join the rest of the show. All right, let's get right to it. Many men who have been unplugged from the feminist inspired matrix and have taken the red pill. Those guys are now well aware. They're, they're now more aware of the true nature of women here in 2019. We know about their slutty behavior. We know how they cover it up. We know about their nefariousness, their licentiousness, their nastiness when it comes to dealing with men and really the general public for that matter. Now, men like myself know that the vast majority of women in this country aren't really good for much outside of sex. And we damn sure know that most women aren't worth committing any much of anything outside of maybe a one-night stand, the occasional booty call, or maybe a fuck buddy arrangement. By the way, do we use booty call anymore? I don't know. I mean, I'm old school. I'm kind of dating myself. Do we still call it a booty call? I don't know. That's the way it was back in my day, <laughs> back in the back in the tw- back in the two thousands. Anyway, we complain about how women can't cook, about how they're never loyal, they're never faithful. Guys like myself say that it is a fool's errand trying to wife up or even date these chicks. But for the number of women who aren't worth committing to. There are just as many men out there who are also not worth committing to. Yes, we talk about the bad investments females are these days. But the fact of the matter is, is that most men aren't really much better. Men like to talk all this shit about how they require their women to be attractive. How she's got to know how to cook. She has to have a kind disposition. Who doesn't lie or cheat. A woman who's going to stay faithful. Well, the problem is, is that most men who make these demands, those guys are out of shape. They can barely take care of themselves, and they're as broke as a joke. Not because they don't make a shit ton of money, but because they're bad with money. If a man wants a quality woman, he's got to have his shit together first. First and foremost, you can't buy something if you don't have the money. It's a simple exchange. You want the opportunity to turn a woman into a good woman? You've got to be a quality male. Got to be a high-value male. That, of course, starts with the basics. Getting in shape, learning game, getting your financial house in order, etc., etc. Let me know if I'm lip-syncing, guys. Let me know if I'm lip-syncing. Anyway, without those basic elements in terms of a man's overall value, you are going to be just like 95% of the sexless blue pill guys who simp for single mothers. But because more men want to be in relationships than men who are worth committing to, women have decided to sort of shack up and get with the best of the worst while she searches for a higher value male. 99.9% of the time, they end up finding that man. But when they do, they never go and tell their boyfriends or husbands, hey, I'm in love with this guy at work. His name is Kevin. He's in the sales department. I want to break up with you so that I can be with him. Not even close. What she does is she cheats on you with Kevin for a little while. 
And when she thinks Kevin wants to be with her, which he clearly does not, but Kevin has game. But as soon as she thinks Kevin wants to be with her or that Kevin will at the very least fuck her regularly, only then will she break up with you. And even then, she'll rarely tell you flat out it's over. She'll say things like, we should start to see other people, or we should take a break, or I need space, something to that effect. Then when you find out she is seeing someone else the very next the very next day, oh my god, Heather dumped me yesterday and she's out with this dude Kevin the very next day, what the fuck? It becomes obvious to you that she was fucking Kevin in sales long before she ever told you, hey, Donovan, we have to talk. So now you're thinking to yourself, well, goddamn, this is the third straight girlfriend who has cheated on me. Bitches ain't shit. Fuck these hoes. And you would be right. However, there are a few reasons you may not be aware of as to why you keep getting cheated on. You could be in great shape. You could be financially responsible. You might even have a little bit of game. Okay? Dude, you might even have a little bit of working knowledge as to how women work and what makes them tick. You may have read a chapter or two of the Rational Mail. You may have tuned in to TSR Live once or twice. But guess what? So do a lot of men. And their women are still running around on them. So now the question becomes, why do women keep cheating on me? I mean, really, other than, you know, obvious factors like feminism, promiscuity, lack of accountability, or the desire to be in a monogamous relationship, what exactly is it that I'm doing or not doing that causes these women to step out on me? Well, if you're one of those guys asking yourself that question tonight, you're in luck because Uncle Donovan is going to give you five reasons your girlfriends keep taking dick on the side while you are at home or at work waiting her for waiting for her to call or text and lie to you about her whereabouts my opening rant is brought to you by good vibes cbd oil good vibes will not only drastically reduce your anxiety symptoms you will also get some of the best sleep you have ever had if you want to support the show and get your hands on the best and most effective CBD oil around, go to DonovanSharp.com and buy it through my affiliate link. Use promo code Donovan15 to get 15% off. Again, that is Donovan15, Donovan15 to get a 15% discount. If you have a question or a comment about why you keep getting cheated on or why men seem to keep getting cheated on by women, give me a call, 914-205-5356. Again, that's 914-205-5356. If you have an unrelated question about girls, game, finance, fitness, or anything else that pertains to increasing your value and agency as a man, you guys can give me a call too. Follow, add, and like me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just do a quick search for Donovan Sharp on all three platforms. I don't post anything on social media anymore. I just use those platforms to stream maybe the first 15, 20 minutes of my show. Then I get them here to my main channel on YouTube. But if you want to see memes I post or articles that I find or articles that get submitted to me, pictures that I would normally post on social media or anything else that I would normally post on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, become a patron. Because as of today, I am now using Patreon as my de facto social media feed. So anything that I would normally post on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, what have you, will now be posted on Patreon. The only thing I post, the only thing I'll be posting from now on on social media are the first few minutes of my video. Nothing else. Nothing else. Speaking of Patreon, to get access to all of my content, go to patreon.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. There you will find the entire archive of all complete episodes of TSR Live, both audio and video. So you can listen on the go or you can watch at your leisure. As always, you can watch my, my show Monday through Thursday afternoons at 5 Eastern. 
But if you want to be able to rewatch or re-listen to my episodes in their entirety, less than 17 cents a day is all it takes. Forgive me, guys. I am running. I'm running on fumes, man. I've been working my ass off the last few days, and whew, it has taken its toll. So if I don't have the fire that I don't normally have, my bad. Been a long day, been a long week. Everybody else had Christmas vacation. Not this guy. Um, I worked straight. Th- Listen, don't feel sorry for me. I had a very, very good month last month. But um, I'm going to have to take some time off here in the not-too-distant future to sort of recharge my battery so my head doesn't explode. Jesus Christ. Guys, we all know that I could be shut down and deplatformed at any time. Last year alone, I lost two YouTube channels, lost a Facebook page, and a Twitter account. And I've stated before that I wouldn't be surprised if I lost my Patreon at some point in the not-too-distant future. Now, there are measures that I have in place. There are things that I'm working on to make sure that if and when that does happen, it'll be a seamless transition. In the meantime, in the meantime, the only way to ensure that you never miss out on my content, subscribe to my email list. Go to donovansharp.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, plug in your email, and you're good to go. Literally takes 3.4 seconds. So if somebody were to snap their fingers and I get banned everywhere, you will always know when and where to find me. If you like what you hear, if you get something out of my show, and you want to contribute, you can do that through my Streamlabs link. www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. And the number one, www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. And the number one, I'm actually going to call it unofficially the Bob and Sacramento contribution link. Bob and Sacramento has contributed, donated over the past couple of years, a total of $1,655 as of yesterday, $1,655. So today I am officially renaming the contribution link, the Bob and Sacramento Contribution link. Not all of us can be Bob in Sacramento, okay? But $1, $10, $20, $2, 5 bucks. Every little bit counts, guys. I appreciate every penny. Streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. And the number one. Shout out to Rasta Kill. Oh, boy. Rasta Kill Bomani with the $5 contribution. Says Happy New Year. Appreciate that. Rasta Kill Bomani with the $5 contribution. Contribution. I'm sorry, he said Merry New Year. That's funny. Excellent. All right, let's get to the chat here before we get this party started. All right. Thaddeus Scott pops the cherry. Red Jedi gets sloppy seconds. Chase LeBeau gets the fucker in the ass. Remy gets to finish on her face, and Luigi Conti gets it all on film. Captain Crunch 420's in the house. Charles Caballero. Nope, not watching the door quite, not quite yet, Charles. Got to be in the top five for that. <laughs> Rob Cruz, shout out to you, guy. Javon Smiley, the only black guy in the chat. <laughs> of course, I say that in jest. Because my hair trigger, my hair trigger troll temper got the best of me. He said, I'm the only black guy here. I'm like, what the fuck, Javon? He was the only black guy Somewhere in Phoenix. So, yeah, that was that was my bad. I shoot first, qu- ask questions later. I know that's going to burn me at some point in the future. Kevin Howard in the house. I don't think I've seen you in here before. If you have, welcome back. <laughs> CJ Mutter in the house. Good to see you in here. Somebody asked, what about Hispanics, I think? Shout out to Charles Caballero with the $5 contribution. Says, always appreciate the knowledge. Appreciate that, Charles. Rasta Kill Bomani and Charles Caballero with $5 contributions apiece. I pre- like, I, like I said, I appreciate every penny, guys. I don't take any of it for granted. Yeah, I heard that somebody said, well, what about Latinas, Hispanics? If she's born and raised in America, it doesn't matter what her nationality is. She is going to be a slut. She's going to be the typical American slut. A lot of guys like to say, well, what about Brazilian women? Listen, if she's born and raised in Brazil, you know, let the good times roll. But if she is Brazilian and she moved here when she was five years old and she is 27 now, dude, 
She's a typical American slut. Doesn't matter what a woman's nationality or race is. If she's been in America for most of her life, and it doesn't really have to be most of her life, it usually takes, I don't know, you get a lot of guys who go to Russia, Ukraine, Brazil, Poland. They bring over these young, pretty girls. They marry these girls. They bring them to the States. Then a year and a half later, uh, my mail-order bride is fucking my next-door neighbor. My mail my mail order bride is fucking the guy who delivers our packages. Well, of course she is. She's here in America. She's going to be contri- she's going to be polluted with that feminist sewage. Okay. See you in Vegas. I see you on the line. I'm going to get to you in a second. Area code 215. You're going to be next in line. All right. Hellfighters in the house. Good to see you in here. Yeah, Luigi Conti wants to know how do Hispanic men rank in the sexual market in the sexual market play in the sexual marketplace uh as race. Yeah, Hispanic guys are honestly you guys you're you're nowhere near the bottom. Um you're honestly you're probably on par with black guys. Maybe a little bit lower. I'm not a girl, so I don't know. But if you're a Hispanic guy and you have your shit together, right? You're in shape, exercise financial prudence. Yeah, you're going to be very high on the on the totem pole. All things being equal, all things being equal, most women like white guys first, and then Hispanic and black guys are probably a distant second. Yeah, Javon Smiley says if you're a patron, I did a yeah, I did a really good patron episode about that one. That was that was uh, that was really good. It was a really good one. Javon also says, probably women, probably women going to flock to whoever's in power. Yeah, that's exactly right. Fazel Ali says, what will happen when the balance of power, wealth, and influence moves east to China and India? Will men of those countries be on the top of the SMV period? Fuck no. Because Asian men and Indian men are at the bottom of the sexual totem pole. Just because they're rich... Just because I've got all the money doesn't mean they're going to be, you know, fucking all the best looking women out there. Women will go where there's power, but, you know, again, sexual market value is not just money. That's how that goes. Fazel Ali says, since men are seen as success objects. (laughs) Oh, wow. Fazel, like, it's, no. 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 Yeah, listen, maybe we are seen as success objects. We are objectified by women in that regard. But guess what? We see, we objectify women uh, for their body parts, right? If she doesn't look good, we're not interested. So yeah, we are success objects. And I don't think, and again, this is the masculine burden of performance. So yeah, if I'm seen as a success object, fine, whatever. Okay. Nick Loizaga likes the t-shirt. God, you guys are active as fuck. Ricky Bobby says women ain't shit. James Martinez wants to know if I can go over the new tiers on Patreon. I will later. Very, very good. Very, very good question. Remy says black chicks hate me because I'm too sophisticated. No, black chicks hate you because they want to fuck you, but they know they can't. That's why. Kevin and Sale strikes again. Jack Napier says, just when I wanted to sleep, evening Donovan. Good to see Jack Napier, a.k.a. the Joker in the house. Outcast Cruz. Michael Mengen. <laughs> women cheating with women. Dude, if my if Devin were to come to me and be like, hey, look, I kind of messed around with my friend Desiree the other day. Not going to be mad. Were there any dudes involved? She'd be like, no. I'll be like, all right, we'll bring her over next time. Not going to dump my girl for cheating on me with another woman. Fuck that. Michael Mangan says, what's behind straight women cheating with other women? I don't know, and I don't care. It's not that big a deal, dude. It's really not. And yes, women can't. Yes, status AEG says women can and do cheat with women. I'll even take it one step further. I will take it one step further. The average woman has had more sexual encounters with other women than the average man. I'll say it again. The average woman in this country... The average American woman has had more sexual encounters with other women than the average American man has had sexual encounters with other women. That's absolutely right. 
Well, I mean, what do they say? The average guy has slept with what? Seven, eight women? Yeah. Yeah. I would say the average woman has probably licked at least a dozen, a dozen twats. Call him like I see him. Thaddeus Scott is Rasta Akil Bomani. Okay, I'm going to call you Thaddeus Scott because that is much easier to pronounce. Shout out to Thaddeus Scott with the $5 contribution. Shout out to James Cortez. Says, just joined your Patreon. Do you have a list of classic shows I should check out first? Go to DonovanSharp.com, James, and start from the beginning. If you are an $8 patron and above, and I'll explain this later. If you're an $8 patron and above, I'm actually going to start releasing some of the archived classics. When I lost my YouTube channel, um, I lost episodes number 1 through 237. Lost the video. Didn't lose the audio. So what I've done is I and what I've done is I've taken part bits and pieces of episodes 1 through 237 and integrated it into my new content. Um, I've actually done some remixes, but the vast majority of it you guys still haven't been privy to. So what I'm going to do here in the coming hell, the coming months, weeks and years is every every week I'm going to release two to three uh, TSR classic throwback episodes. Justin Campbell says, I have yet to meet a woman who hasn't slept with a woman. Exactly, exactly. 914-205-5356 is the number to call if you want to get on the show. 131 people watching. See in Vegas. You're on live with Donovan. What's up, brother? D, what's going on? Uh... Well, I, I know you're feeling a little bit under the weather because, you know, you've been working hard. So I'm going to try to do my best Donovan Sharp impression with this one. All right, all right. Because I'm going to be on topic. So I'm going to try it. Number one, she cheated on you because you got into a six-month relationship. You stopped lifting weights and you stopped learning games. You want to know the problem? That's the problem. You're welcome. Okay. You're okay. Okay. Fortunately, listen, Indeed, fortunate, listen, fortunately for the audience, that is a reason that, you know, m that every girl has cheated on you. That's not on this list, though. So I appreciate, listen, that definitely needed to be said, and I'm glad you didn't torpedo the show. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> no, D, I, I, I would give, like, my top three, and I'll, I'll jump. But, All right, go ahead. Uh, well, truth be told, D, that's number one, no, seriously, because okay. I think, and this is especially true. Because, you know, let's be honest, D, I think lifting weights, because guys think like, oh, you know, lifting weights, that's simple, but it also creates, it also keeps her on her toes because she knows, wait a minute, this guy's always in shape. He's always doing his thing. He's always, you know, out there lifting heavy weights, getting more in shape. That means I got to do the same or else I'm going to fall behind. I'm the one who's on the, who's on the back foot. If you stop lifting weights because you got into a relationship, that's, that's a signifier. She, she's always an attraction for you. Okay. No, I agree. Full stop. Okay. To me, the, and, and my second one is, now, D, this is a person, one of mine, I've said this before, too. You moved in too early. You know, you can Ooh, boyfriend girl, you move in with her. I like it. I like it. D, D, D listen, I'm going to be honest with you, because, um, now, look, here's the thing. You might, you guys might think, like, oh, you know, wow, you know, it's like a lot of game for her to want to move in with you. Thing is, though, just because you moved in with her doesn't mean, like, she wants a challenge. You know what I'm saying? If you move in right away, right. it means, oh, he's got one itis. And right. I know what he's doing. And I never have to worry about what he's doing. And you stop lifting weights. Oh, <sighs> he's got one itis. Great. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, the, that's the giveaway. And, the, and my third one, and I think the third one, the most, I think what a lot of guys do to get the frame, to get the game. They're out there. They're doing it. And this one's pretty basic, Donovan. But you know what? You got into a relationship. It's been six months. Oh, you know, you know, women are so bad. You know, I'm not <laughs> me. Beta C in Vegas. You know, yeah, you know, don't feel comfortable now. You got too comfortable. Right. You just got, you just got too comfortable. That's it's, it. it. Seriously, I think guys sometimes, you get too comfortable, you, you know. And also think, dude, there was actually a scientific study about this, by the way, speaking of which, real quick, I'll jump. Sure. That if you, if you domesticated with a female, and you know you're living with it, whatever your testosterone goes down for whatever reason. They've done studies about this. So if you've been cohabiting with you know living with her, or whatever doesn't matter, your testosterone goes down. Full stop. They've done studies. It you probably. Can up, you know, so I hope you can verify. No, listen. I mean, I've I've never heard of that before, but it makes sense. And the reason why your testosterone goes down is because 
the thrill of the chase, the thrill of um, of filling, of fulfilling your burden as a man is gone. Because when you're pursuing the yes. woman, when you're pursuing the girl, your testosterone's up, right? You want to be bigger, faster, stronger. You want to fuck her better, harder, blah, 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 blah. But as soon as you move, as soon as you move, as soon as you start cohabitating, there's a little less, mo- there's a little less motivation to a lot less motivation. Now, there are exceptions to the rule, like myself. Um, I, I mean, dude, I've lived with Devin now for over almost a year and a half now. I have not lost my edge. I still go to the weight. I still go to the, uh, the gym. I still lift weights. Never comfortable. Um, it, dude, if anything, I have, I actually have less time for her because I'm, I immerse myself in this stuff, but for everybody yes. else, yes. see in yes. Vegas is telling the absolute truth. The first time your girl asks you, Hey, should we move in together? I want to move in, dude. Never, ever agree to it. The first time put her through her paces. <laughs> And also the last thing I was going to say, too, to your point, by the way, um, because, you, cause you, you know, I, I, I take my lumps on this. I moved in with two females. We finally learned my lesson. Okay. But to your point, too, those are you, we're outliers. We're outliers because the average dude wants to start moving with the chick. They think it's all ponies, rainbows, and gold. Oh, boy. Oh, they yeah. Think that the average dude, they, they think you get what I'm saying. So, yes. Guys. Listen, you know what I'm saying? guys, listen, keep your edge. You know what I'm saying? Also, if, if, if you, I get it. Some guys are like, I want to move in, I want to move in, I want to move in. I get that. Make her work for it at the, That's at right. the bare minimum. If you're just like, oh, okay, great, you, you're going to get screwed over. Yep. D, take care. It's great talking to you. Just, just get it done. You the man. See in Vegas in here dropping that knowledge. I say this all the time, man. Never, ever, ever deprive a woman the privilege of working for your affection. If she asks you to move in and you say, okay, the first time, she's not really going to value your shared residence because you let her do it the first time. If your girl says, hey, I think we should move in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. Slow down. Like we are, dude, whoa. We are way far off on that. What makes you think I want to move in with you? Oh my God. Make her work for it. All right, let's go to area code 219. 219, you're on live with Donovan. Go ahead. Hey, what's going on, Donovan? Uh, this is Bruce Lane Shy. Follow you on Instagram, and I'm, I'm a huge fan of yours. Good stuff, man. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely a pleasure finally talking to you. So Absolutely. Oh, uh, yeah. So, you know, I got familiar with you through the Brother Peel podcast, and uh, and you did me a favor. Also, um, you introduced me to Rollo Tomasi. You know, that that guy is just a guru. You know, that's yeah. like uh, yeah. Robert Greene. But, but yeah, yeah, you know, let me get past the accolades and stuff. I had a question that uh, is somewhat pertains to this this uh, subject, uh, and I think this is like an outlier in hyperbole. Okay. Do, do you feel that um, do you feel that there are certain situations where a woman may you know be physically like a ten at the top of the food chain, mm-hmm. but she may meet a guy who she feels to watch or listen to the rest of this episode? Go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching. 